Henry Flipper's story is for all of us, no matter who we are. It doesn't matter our race, our gender, our creed, our color, our nation of origin, or anything like that. It doesn't matter. His story is a story for all of us. His story is of resilience, dedication, determination, courage, endurance, patience, self-restraint hope, faith, and forgiveness, and just about every other value and virtue that we want all of our leaders and fellow human beings to have. African American History Month gives us time to recognize one of our own, one of our trailblazers, Henry O. Flipper. He was a former slave and the first African American to graduate from West Point. For his entire education, no one would speak to him. Four years of solitude and inequality. To help to tell the story, and it is a phenomenal story. It has really extraordinary high accomplishments and happy points and some really low and really disgusting things that we would never want to see again. Henry O. Flipper persevered and in 1877 graduated from West Point, earning a commission as his second lieutenant in the U.S. Army Cavalry. He also became the first African-American officer to lead the Buffalo Soldiers of the 10th Cavalry. Please swallow your pride. If I, I did not consider that if our own Buffalo Soldier did not endure the hardships he did, on this very ground we walk today to become the first African American to graduate in 1877. I would never have been able to march onto the plane on our day or to jettison my cover into the air on graduation day. Who knows where he would have gone had he stayed in uniform for longer than those five years. But the impacts he made during that time were much broader than just on the military, to be sure. Truly a trailblazer. Flipper served leaders who held his skin color against them. One of his leaders asked him to watch over a safe and then accused him of embezzling government funds. And he was found guilty of conduct unbecoming of an officer and a gentleman and sentenced to be dismissed from the service of the United States. For the rest of his life, Flipper contested the charges and fought to regain his commission. He was not pardoned until 1999 by President Bill Clinton, 59 years after his death. Today's ceremony is about a moment in 1882 when our government did not do all it could do to protect an individual American's freedom. It is about a moment in 1999 when we correct the error and resolve to do even better in the future. The man we honor today was an extraordinary American. Henry Flipper did all his country asked him to do. 